Hello, hello, Hebrews Copper, Silver and Steel, welcome back to my channel in the Off-Grid series. In today's video we will continue our walk with this MPP T Wayne Solar Hybrid System Controller and the topic for today is the Bluetooth connectivity and the application which was included on an Android phone, so if you are interested in just stay tuned and we will start in a moment. Alright, so I have uh, prepared a steady mount for this presentation because I want to show you both application and the controller at the same time. So if you remember my first video, we will discuss the basics uh, of this uh, controller. Please take a look about this video if you are interested in more. But today we will take a look at the Bluetooth connectivity. So basically there is an app called the Green Power. You cannot find this app on an Android or uh, iStore. This app link uh, is provided to, by the seller. In my case, I need to download the APK file, so I don't know if it is a spyware or not, but I have disabled all the permission and basically if you start this application it looks like this so green power and you have some options pretty nice graphics at the beginning so we are selecting bluetooth connection and in my case the following port bluetooth serial port appears this is mac number i didn't enable anything on the device it just show up so i can click it wait connected yes and it is connected so this is basically how this application looks like you have here actually all the parameters divided by the section first section is system if you click on this you can change the system in my case this is 24 volts lithium iron phosphate the address of the communication port language you can clear the statistics of the power consumption and generation and set the password and clear the device password. So this is the feature that you cannot do with this controller itself. You need an application. for it. So let's go back. And another section is the battery. So as I have shown in my previous video, you can change the battery from custom, which is program B0. Then we have lead acid battery, uh, lithium, whatever. And the last one before, for my case, it's lithium iron phosphate. I have changed to this settings because I was testing how the uh, SOC uh, percentage works. It doesn't work so perfectly. It's not a BMS, so it's only based on voltage. So it's always uh, plus minus average uh, indication. Low voltage, low voltage recovery. So the voltage when the battery enable load again and full which is the over charge protection so here you cannot change those parameters but if you want to change them you need to switch to custom and then you have the ability to set those values exactly uh, like I have shown in the first video, but it's of course more convenient way than instead of clicking in here. So then we have a PV section, nothing fancy in here. We got only the light voltage, which is the uh, voltage when we consider there is a day and we could disable the MOSFET, which is uh, responsible for charging from PV source. Then we have a uh, wind uh section so we see all the all the parameters about the wind production and in the details we only have switch to disable charging the last one is the load mode so we can change the load modes uh, here you get some tips for the following modes means so the mode number one mode number two or mode number three by the default you get normally on mode which is uh, as long as there is a voltage on the battery, the load is enabled so you could use some uh, juice from the battery. Uh, and you also can change, is change this time frames for uh, settings when the load is enabled, so the timers. But this is only for the time control mode uh, feature. All right, so this is basically how this application works. So you can see all the parameters in one screen, which is, I think, really nice. 
and now I will try to present you I hope it will be seen but I need to lock the uh, lock the the aperture because I would like to show you during my spinning on a bike uh, so let's go to maybe amperage from not from load but from the wind because we will be using a wind control wind turbine of course this will be my bike not the wind actual wind turbine but we are connected into wind turbines so we go 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 wind amp yes in here all right again go back and now i will start spinning so you can see uh, production in here and the amperage in here and you can compare the delay in here so let's do some tests all right so i think it's enough you get the idea about the application the connection is really simple the application itself uh, shows only basic information but you can do anything that you do on the configuration in here but with using phone which is pretty more convenient uh, the only lack i mean there is a way of improvement this application to show some chart some statistics when you can see the production daily but for day by day from the past all right see so i think it's all for now for this video if you have any questions about the application or about the control itself about the connection etc just don't hesitate to put a comment uh, below the video and i'm still testing this controller i'm still testing my wind turbine i'm testing it on this mode so uh, instead of using a servo motor now i'm switch into scooter 220 watts uh, watts uh, power and this is simple connection just using the tire but thanks to uh, this ra ratio i'm able to get pretty good results so less friction more power directly converted into battery into controllers so this is how we uh, test it uh, till this time if you have any questions as always give me a comment don't forget to subscribe and see you later